But first, a boat crash on Lake Thunderbird. Tonight, dive teams are on the water looking for those who are still missing nearly 24 hours after the accident. OHP is leading the investigation, and our Kaylee Bourgeois is live at headquarters tonight with some new information about those involved in this accident. Kaylee. Lisa, authorities confirm four people were involved in this. Two are now safe at the hospital, but two are missing. And authorities also say one of those two missing has died. Divers have been scanning Lake Thunderbird throughout the day, searching for two people and their boat. We will be there until recovery is made, though. Uh, we feel like we have ample resources out there. OHP says two boats crashed on the lake last night. Chris Peebles says he could even hear the collision from across the lake. All of a sudden, I could hear this boat give like one more, just sort of whoom, like that, and you could hear just a boom. And I was like, somebody just wrecked. It was one last gasp of trying to get away. It was kind of how I felt it. It was just like, it put myself in that position. It was a whoom, just trying to, you know, miss them or something. Thanks to Saturday's storms, this recovery effort was delayed until this morning. However, two people were rescued and are in the hospital. Stephen Taylor of Norman and Jennifer Collette of Noble. They're both stable. The second boat and its passengers have not yet been found, although authorities confirm one person is dead. As they wait in agony, family tells us one of the missing is Cody Foster, seen here. Captain Paul Timmons with OHP says his troopers won't stop until the two missing people and their boat are recovered. We've got quite a few resources out there with this attempt to make this recovery. We've got uh, probably eight divers, uh, four boats with sonar, and we have a fairly large area that we're searching. Now, we did see some family waiting at the lake there for any news. They say they're not ready to interview yet, but they say they love the two people missing and want them back. On the scene, on the story, outside Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Kaylee Bourgeois News 9.